Hello, I'm Tonali Kashfolu and I'm studying Electrical Electronics Engineering in Burkent University. This is my term project presentation for the course EEE 102 Introduction to Digital Design. My task was to design a project with VHDL on an FPGA port called Basis 3. So I chose to implement the John Conway's Game of Life. I hope you like it. Let's begin. So first of all, what is Basis 3? As I told you, my project is on Basis 3. This is the Basis 3 board. It is an FPGA board. It's manual in the link in the description. If you don't know what a FPGA is, I recommend you to learn it for the sake of this video. Um, so you can give inputs to this with switches and also using push buttons. Uh, usually you can see a few things on the 7 segment display, but I didn't do anything for this project. My outputs will be shown using the VGA port, and this is for uh, powering on the basis 3. Everything you see on the monitor is powered only by the board. The board handles everything. If you come here by the title, you probably know what Game of Life is. But for the ones who don't know, let me tell you what is the Game of Life. Despite the name, Game of Life is more like a simulation rather than a game. The system is a representation of a cellular population. Each change rep represents a new generation of cells. This is an acellular automaton created by John Conway. Actually, this game is a zero-player game, meaning that its evolution is determined by its initial state, requiring no further input. One interacts with the game of life by creating an initial configuration and observing how it evolves. Now you know what Game of Life is. Let me tell you about the rules. The universe of Game of Life is two-dimensional orthogonal grid of cells, as you can see on the monitor. Each cell can have two possible states, alive or dead. In this representation, alive cells are represented as whites, and dead cells are black. Every cell interacts with its eight neighbors which are the cells that horizontally, vertically, and diagonally adjacent. At each step, the following transitions occur. Here are the four rules of the game. Any live cells with fewer than two live neighbors dies, as if underpopulation. Any cell with two or three live neighbors lives on the next generation. Any life cell with more than three live neighbors dies due to overpopulation. And any dead cell with exactly three live cells becomes a live cell, as if production. The initial pattern is like a seed for the system. The first generation is created by applying the above rules simultaneously to every cell. Birds, deaths, can occur simultaneously. And this is a representation of Game of Life. Let's go back to basis 3. I'm sorry, it's hard for me to record both the monitor and the board while trying to tell you what's happening. So let me tell you what inputs cause what changes so you will understand what's happening in the display when I start to record monitor only. So as I told you, you give input via switches and push buttons. Let me tell you what are the functions of the switch and 
I will tell about the push buttons later. The rightmost switch is a play pause for the simulation. For example, this is the state, I am at the pause, and when I start it, it goes on. So let me pause it for, for this. The leftmost two switches, the ones under the LEDs, these are for controlling the speed. For example, this is the slowest and this is the fastest. Let me give an example. So this is the position when you start at the slowest. This is how it goes. And when you try to fasten it, this is how it becomes. All the cells are dead. So, Android switches are... Let me pause for a second. These... The switches right next to the play pause button. The three switches are here to give initial conditions. These three. For example, if it's closed and it's everything is dead. This is the first condition. It's called clear. Let me give another. The first position is when every cell is alive. This is not a good condition because due to the rules everyone dies. Another one is the staple position called for grid. Due to my camera it's not look so well, but this is the position. I, I will tell about the cursor a few minutes later. This is the initial position and this is a stable one for squares. Let me give another one. Another one is the glider. This is a position like this and when you start it goes like this. And when you speed it up it's migrating and creates a stable colony at that position. I got a few more with this I got a position like this. It doesn't look like much, but when you start it, it changes into something beautiful. And it becomes stable, sort of. It oscillates between a few phases. When I increase the speed, it becomes like this. And for the final initial condition that you can give with switches is this one. This is called Tumblr. And when you start it, it also oscillates. When you speed it up, it becomes like this. Cute. However, I believe that you would like to give your own inputs rather than selecting between the initial conditions preset by me. There's a way to do that. As you can, as you did see before, when I pause the simulation, a cursor occurs on the left, left top, top left. This is actually yellow, but I don't know if you can see it. Maybe like this. Yeah, kind of. Okay. So this is different than the other ones. Maybe you it will get clearer when it comes here. Hello. 
So, as I told you, I iterate over, I use push buttons to iterate over the grid. When I push the button, the cursor moves. And this is useful to give additional inputs. When I come to this place and hit the center push button, that cell becomes populated if it's pop if it's not populated. For example, let me go here and populate there. Populate over it. Populate near it. I can create whatever condition I want. And I start the population, start the simulation. It goes according to that. So let me reset the grid and create our own. For example, my name's Tina, and let's create a T. So, this is my initial condition, and when I start it, it becomes like this, and becomes stable. Kind of cool. So, maybe another one. For example, let me reset again and let's create something different. How about this? I don't know. It's kind of cool. So when I started, a different state, of course, and I can add anything else from here so let's add another cell to here and play it again this becomes so this was my project for triple e 102 i enjoyed creating it i hope you like it as well thanks for watching until next time.